guys, welcome back. So finally we have an E30 on the channel, 325i. Many of you requested this car and I'm happy to bring it to you. So yeah, before we get this feature started, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider. And also share the content to any automotive enthusiast out there who loves automotive content. Um, yeah, and a lot of you know that most of my content is actually Japanese content um, and I actually want to build a bigger community of the German content as well I'd appreciate if you share this in your groups, your PM groups, your German groups yeah, just to get the name out there and expand um, the channel towards that direction as well seeing that most of my um, content is Japanese yeah, so we have the owner here, his name is Ross and he owns this beautiful E30 325i so welcome to the channel uh, thank you man, thanks thanks. so let's get this started by asking you um, why you bought this car and tell us the story behind the car well, I was probably about 8, eight or 9 um, one day we were going to um, the race with my cousin and then um, I jumped in with his friend and his friend had a 3 to 5 eye and then um, sure, from that day onwards <laughs> like yeah. I said this is gonna be my first car because that guy took me down the road spinning and it was exciting like you're nine years old and you're going through that and I always said from primary school this is gonna be my first car um, when I got to high school obviously you, you're scouting around you're looking so when I finished school I was now looking for a car and one day like it was probably half past 12 the evening this car just popped up on the internet and I'm like I need to get it the next day I made sure that I go get this car um, this was like if I, if I tell people if people talk about a dream car this was my first dream car yeah. and 12 years later I still have it yeah like Ross said um this is one of his dream cars and a lot of the guys watching knows that the E30 is one of the famous cars in South Africa but also around the world also there's a big community for the E30 especially the 325 um, so let's move on to the motor so seeing that is the 325i and it's a, it's a very nice sounding motor um, have you done anything to the motor? Um, the motor internals are all stock um, I haven't touched the internals um, the only thing that I added to the car was a branch and a power flow so it was fully done over by, fa by power flow um, yeah I wanted to keep the originality of the car yeah. um, the car sounds nice for me as a 30 year old car it's still it's, it's still keeping up with today's cars I would say um, it's very comfortable um, I had this car for 12 years like I said earlier and it was my everyday car so I didn't want to do modifications to the car and the car break and I'm sitting without yeah. the car, can't go to university and things so I just dressed the engine up nicely, color coded it um, had things high polished on the engine I just wanted the car to look nice and do you have any future plans with the motor? Um, at the moment not now, like I don't, um, this car is my weekend driver, it's still like, yeah. I'm just getting the car stands every day underneath the uh, car cover in the garage, um, Sundays come, pull it off and just take it out. I always wanted to put a E46 M3 in one of these cars, it's still my dream, if I don't do it now I'm going to try to do it someday in the future, but yeah, a lot of people what they do with these cars is they stroke the motor to 2.7, 2.9, yeah. um, but yeah, like my dream is, I just want the E46 M3 motor in there. I think it will look so nice. There is a couple, um, I think there's one year that I've seen in South Africa, but there's a couple overseas and it's nice conversions. I don't want to really do it for racing, it's just for my own personal preference. So we're just going to do some draggy pulls now with the car and we're going to see what time it runs.
Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think of the dragon times? Um, I'm happy. It's a pretty old car. Um, stock standard. Like you said, it has very heavy wheels on the car. So I'm I'm quite happy and impressed. Um, maybe I could have improved, <laughs> yeah. but um, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with it actually. Yeah, but to be honest, man, this this car's it's not just about the speed; it's about that that feel, man, the character the of the car, yeah, enjoyment. <laughs> yeah, like you said, you take it out in the weekend and you drive it, drive it like along the coast or like mountain yeah. roads, all that. Yeah, like I don't I don't really abuse mm. the car or anything. Like um, if someone wants to see something or wants me to do something, I'll yeah. do what I can. <laughs> But um, I don't really abuse a car. It's still um, a weekend driver. Um, I just want to get in. I don't want to cause any problems to the car. Pretty nice with the old car. Um, have you done anything to the interior? Yeah. Um, so the interior I had um, door panels, seats, um, steering wheel, gear um, I had these all covered about nine years ago. Um, this guy, is, his name is Nathan. Um, very sweet um, and very reasonably priced. Um, I just changed the design up a bit. I had the logos embroidered in the seats. Um, and I put the perforated pieces in the middle um, and what I also did is normally the lines come down yeah um, I made it going across so the other design of these seats um, if it's this pattern it normally comes in heated seats so we don't have that option in SS yeah. so I just had that design in mind when I did this over give it a more of a euro look yeah like it, it's a very um, rare um, option that people have for these cars. I mean, yeah. the old car that had heated seats, <laughs> you wouldn't get that anywhere else. So with regards to the factory sunroof, I see it's working. Um, that's that's very rare for this car to have yeah. a working sunroof. Eh? <laughs> so has it always been working or no? Has it been <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. The sunroof wasn't working. Um, but is a common problem. A lot of these clips are internally always breaking. Um, so. When I bought this car, the sun wasn't working. Obviously, I bought it knowingly yeah. it's not working. Um, and I thought, I'll find someone to fix it. And I did find um, one of my friends actually deals in parts with these cars. And then um, I found another sunroof at one of the second-hand BMW spare shops. But then I had to chop the whole roof of that car to get all the yeah. internals. Um, strip it. Yeah, so he stripped it completely, took all the internals of that one, and yeah, made this one work. So now everything is working perfect for me personally i think this car shouldn't be changed much because um the body design itself it's nice it just needs like a few things to complement it and like to add your personal touch so just take us through the exterior what you've done yeah so um like you said i also don't believe these cars are very iconic especially here in south africa um i just wanted to keep the stock look and just add a bit of niceness if i yeah. could say to it so all i did was um put on a wheel and lowering kit um the wheel itself it's also iconic to these cars the pbs definitely um and i just like i've, I've seen all the pictures um from international models or international cars and um just that pbs was always a and then one day I saw Shaba posted this this wheels and I was like, I need to get these yeah. wheels, I don't care. I didn't even sell the other wheels yet. I just like I needed this wheels. The seventeens or eighteens? This is seventeens. So this is seventeens, eight and a half J all around. And is this wheel heavy? Obviously. Like That's very heavy. So I had a previous wheel on before this. Um could easily spin it. Uh, like I just <laughs> it would accelerate from first and the car would go into a spin. But you can definitely feel the, the difference on this. This is 8.5J all around, all chrome. So it's quite heavy. But I mean, these cars are pretty nice on it. Like, I I love this wheel on this car. And to be honest, I'm not the person that loves chrome wheels, but 
As if for some reason this wheel just makes this car look perfect. It was exactly especially, the same with me. No? Uh, especially with that, that, um, that shine when yes. it is rolling. And the white. Exactly the same. I'm not a, I'm not a big chrome rim fan. But it was just like... Like you look at ideas overseas yeah. and things. You want to get a bit of this and you want to touch up with that. Um, but for me this wheel is just for this car. So you got to the, the body. So this is a 30 year old car. This solid metal hasn't been sprayed over um the scar is how it came from the factory 30 years ago um i've never touched up i've never sprayed over it's just all original metal work so what do you love most about this car damn <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty hard to to actually um, come up with what i love about this car but firstly what comes to mind is the shape like this body, th there's just something else about it. The look and everything about this car really gets to me. Um, yeah. Like I said, when I when I got into this car and when I saw this car, I just knew like this is gonna be my first car. I'm going to make it my first car. And yeah, like it, it's very hard to pinpoint. These motors, super nice. Um, I know of people that had bearing knock motors that was spinning and still performing before yeah. the motor even gave in. <laughs> these, these motors are very strong. Um, they have obviously um, certain common problems like most cars have, but um, yeah, like it can be very quick fixes. Common problems on these cars, the gearbox, um, the bearing makes a lot of noise. So a lot of the times you'll hear that tick, 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 tick. On this car is not that loud. Um, another tick tick sound that you will always hear is the tappets, the tappets makes a yeah. lot of noise so if you listen to by the engine you will hear so you always um, have to sit there yeah but um it's like they say a lucid tappet is a happy yeah. tappet <laughs> <laughs> um airflow meter problems um people have a lot of car problems with that and these are all things that are that i went through that yeah. i have to fix up and replace um but yeah they they, they are um very um, few characteristic or um, problems with this cars that you can get. For a 30 year old car, the comfort of this thing is incredible. Like all the features it has, man. Thinking back 30 years ago, the stuff you get now in the cars that comes out today, but like 30 years ago, the stuff was like, yo. Yeah. This car has everything that a modern car today has. It has a computer, onboard computer screen that will tell you the temperature, what it is outside. Um, there was options for cruise control. For me, this was like the the beginning of a modern car, mm. um, and it was 30 years ago. So you get all the comfort that you get out of a, a today's cars in this car, and that's what I love about these cars. And all the features that you listed, do all of them work? Um, they do, um, but this one did not come out with cruise control, or well, this wasn't taken with the option with cruise control. But it was an option for this car. So this is the end of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a comment in the comment section and do like it. Um, and also comment maybe what car you would like next on the channel. And hopefully I'll try to get it um, as soon as possible. Seeing that many of you guys requested the E30. Um, yeah, and I just want to say thank you to Ross for actually coming out to bring his E30 yes. and telling his story. So thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, so as many of you see, yeah, got my hands on the E30 for you guys, as many of you, as many. So what's up guys, so yeah, yet another feature, finally an E30 325i. So E30 today, 325i, as many of, I think it's known as a Gucci, yeah. the cool is that, yeah. That's pretty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> people, let's take you through the AX. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.